Hello. All right, I'm here with my bicycle. Bicycle, bicycle. Uh, my trusty mountain bike. Uh, came out today to do a little photography. I took the bike down a road that is currently still closed to vehicles, to cars. So you can ride bikes and you can hike in and run and stuff like that uh, on this road. So it's really nice to be back here right now because there's no traffic at all. So I'm the only one back here right now. And uh, I wanted to come in here and see if there were any critters that uh, are normally very skittish of vehicles and people, see if they might be more accepting of a bicycle. So uh, I'm looking for anything really. Owls, uh, grizzly bears, yeah, I'm not sure I'm looking for them. There's certainly a potential that I could see them. Uh, being alone in the backcountry with grizzly bears is sometimes okay, but it's uh, sometimes risky. So uh, I'm, if I do see some grizzlies, I'm going to stay a long ways away, make sure that they're aware that I'm here, uh, as opposed to roadside grizzly photography. Uh, this is a lot higher risk situation being alone in the backcountry. So uh, I don't think I'd mind seeing one. I just got to be real careful if I do. And uh, I am prepared. I have bear spray right on my holster, right in my backpack, which is chilling right there. And uh, yeah, so I, I've seen a bunch of elk already uh, just riding in and um, looking for owls. Wolves would be nice. There's a potential for wolves back here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, at any case, it's nice to be out here. After driving in today up into the park to get here with my bike, uh, there were multiple bear jams and an elk jam. And uh, the traffic is just gnarly. And fighting through those crowds of people with big lenses just wasn't on my radar for the day. So although those people are making some photographs today, uh, I felt like coming out and spending a little more alone time out here in the woods and uh, hopping on the bike, getting some exercise and seeing if I could find something good to photograph. So we'll see. I hope that that, uh, the second part, the photography part comes together. Never really know. So anyway, I'm going to keep cruising on the bike uh, and cross my fingers that I find something interesting to photograph out here. It's a gorgeous evening. Partly cloudy, chance of thunder showers, so I've got a rain jacket in there. And uh, mosquitoes are out, so I've got my thermocell, which is a godsend. <laughs> Those mosquitoes are awful. So, anyway, let's carry on and hope for the best. I'm watching these elk out here and they're nervous so usually nervous elk means there's a predator somewhere I don't see one yet but they're very much nervous and they've got uh, most likely this there's a group of cows out here most likely they've got calves out here probably in these willows they just came running up out of the willows and are kind of running around looking a little bit scared uh, back down into the willows, so 
There might be a bear down in there somewhere. There might not be. But uh, I'm going to hang around here for a little while and see if, by chance, a bear does decide to pop out. Yeah, because there's more of them coming out now over here, too. So there was a big herd of elk in here, and they're all scattering. So something's going on in there. So they're a little nervous. I'm a little bit nervous about this <laughs> thunderstorm. Not that it would be that bad. I I just have to haul ass back to the car. I don't want to get all muddy out here. So if it starts to rain, this road will turn to muck in an instant, and it'd be a big mess. So I don't want that to happen today. Because I'm too lazy to want to clean myself off and all my gear. But I'm going to hang around here as long as I can and see if there is actually a bear out here. Because it kind of feels like it, the way those elk are behaving. Way out there. Way out there is a grizzly bear. So all those elk were scattering because a bear was coming. Uh, and it's a long ways further away than the elk are, so uh, I have nothing to worry about. It's like 500 yards away, <laughs> something like that. It's a long ways away. So, But it looks like it's got two cubs with it. And uh, it was just kind of working its way across here. Um, but now it wandered off again as well. So that, that was kind of how I would have hoped a grizzly bear sighting would have gone today. Not real psyched about running into a grizzly bear in the backcountry alone. Uh, but seeing one from far off was cool. Um, watching the elk get all nervous and observing that behavior was kind of fun as well. Uh, so I imagine that bear's out here hunting little baby elk calves. We'll see if it's successful. Who knows if it's successful or not. I'm not going to stick around to find out. So I'm going to keep moving here and see what else happens. There seems to be a lot of elk activity out here. The light is just fantastic. There's a storm rolling in, and I love that stormy, moody light. So I'm going to keep moving around and see what other photo opportunities present themselves out here. And uh, if they don't present themselves, it's just gorgeous, fantastic to be out here all alone. So I'm going to keep moving. Back on the bike. That's a gigantic bear shit in the road. Luckily, it's not a gigantic bear in the road. Well, that's about it. Uh, no, no great photos were made by me today. I'll be back at the car shortly. Uh, and, but a good time was had by me today. So, it was worth a try. It was, it was really nice to get out here and uh, give it a shot. But just didn't work out with photography, which happens all the time. Uh, but anyway, gorgeous evening, and there's a chance I'll run into something potentially interesting while I'm driving back towards home after putting the bike back on the car. So I'm going to keep my eyes open while I'm driving and uh, hope Hope I get lucky on the drive, because I didn't get lucky out here with any good photo ops. So anyway, if I don't see anything good, that'll be it. So have a great day, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, and hopefully the next one I'll actually get to make some nice photos. Man, is it pretty out. I feel kind of bad leaving. But I'll look for some good photo ops in the car. Because, geez, it's just gorgeous out. All right. 
I have just pulled up. I've been driving home and I just pulled into a pullout here uh, right in front of the Tetons. There's uh, some really nice dramatic clouds and dramatic light shaping up. Storms rolling in from the south and I'm going to spend a few minutes here shooting a little time-lapse footage and ideally when the sun goes just a little bit lower I think I might get some killer light right over the mountains here. So um, photography wise today was a bust with my bike ride. Uh, I did get to have a nice ride and get some fresh air and see some wildlife out there but no good photos yet. I might get a decent one here if everything comes together. It's one of those kind of 50-50s I think with the clouds cooperating. Right now they're really dramatic but I don't know if they're going to cooperate enough to uh, really get some nice contrasty dramatic light. Sunset I don't think it's going to happen because this storm's going to roll in. Sunset's another 45 minutes away and this storm will roll in and just cloud it all out. Probably in the next 15 minutes it looks like. It's moving up here pretty fast. So I'm going to keep my eye on this and hope for the best. So thanks for watching today. Uh, I wish I would have been able to make some more compelling images today, but that's how it goes often. And um, so be it, I guess. The life of a photographer, nature and wildlife photographer. Get a lot of days where nothing happens. But it was sure fun being out there on the bike, getting the fresh air, being all alone. So anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, have a great day. I'll see you on the next episode. Hopefully I make some more compelling photos. Because today it didn't really work out for me. Maybe one will happen here. If it does, you'll see it. It'll be a nice contrasty, moody black and white. If the clouds cooperate. See you next time. Bye.